Hi friends, so I am very happy to tell you that today I am sitting with my junior Dr. Pranjal Singh from Alanagar Medical College who has scored rank 10 in November AIMS 2019 exam. A very big congratulations Pranjal. Thank you so much sir. So how does it feel to get a rank in top 10 in the prestigious institute like AIMS? So it feels really good sir. I don't have many words to describe how it feels right Were now. you expecting a rank in top 10 in the AIMS sir, exam after no, the exam? No sir. No sir. Actually sir. I felt that I made a lot of mistakes in the AIMS exam and I was not happy with my performance initially. So, but I was not expecting a rank in the time. Have you feeling sunk in now that you have got the <laughs> Sir, it is sinking in like slowly and slowly it is sinking in. Okay. Wow. Uh, just to tell uh, to our viewers that Dr. Pranjal is an intern at Mangalagar Medical College and he has joined us in the internship as a TND student. So, uh, Pranjal, can you tell to our students about your journey of the exam like uh, like from a medical college where the sure. internship is so hectic yes, sir. and uh, like uh, how did you uh, able to manage or to achieve such a big task yes like a lot of people think that in order to get a rank in top 10 in AIMS you need to be an AIMSonian okay hmm. so you are a non-AIMSonian and hmm. still you are able to manage a rank in top 10 yes, sir. so what was your approach towards the exam so okay sir what I want to say is that the key here is to start early and by early I mean you should you know, you should set your goals in fourth semester or third semester itself that okay, I want to do this, you know, like five, three to four years from now on, I am seeing myself doing this. So when you have that incentive, you will autom automatically start working on those lines, right? So sir, what message I want to give is to young budding aspirants who are watching this video that you should always and always read standard textbooks. That is what I have done. That is what I will always preach. You should always go through Robbins more than once. You should always go through uh, books like Anant Narayan and Panikar, which is a great and fantastic book to build concepts in microbiology, which is actually a very important subject for AIMS because micro, it is the joining link, I feel, between medicine. It has many yeah. links between derma also with medicine, some with surgery. So I think it, it's important if you read uh, good textbooks. Now, when it comes to uh, subjects like pharmacology, right? So the thing is that KD Tripathi is not a good book. I would never recommend it. In fact, for anyone who is looking to crack AIMS, I think they should read, focus on books like Katzung because it really gives you a good, uh, <clears throat> you know, base on which you can build upon. See, you can always learn about new drugs from the websites, from the uh, internet. But what is important is the base that it's all built on. And a good base is always made by reading standard textbooks. So in third year subjects, I would <coughs> recommend everyone to read Sparks because uh, in this aims many questions were direct uh, lines from the Sparks textbook of uh, preventive and social medicine. In ENT and OFSA, I don't feel that reading the textbook is that uh, important. Uh, okay, then it comes to final year subjects. So this time the aims exam had a huge chunk of final year subjects, right? And the only way you can be good at final year subjects is by attending your clinics, postings and internship mindfully. That is the key message that I want to put out there. Start going to the wards in second year itself. Start taking history. Start talking to the patient. That is very important. Spend good chunks of time reading clinical books like Esdas, you know, reading books like Hutchison also because at the end of the day, it's not about, you know, choosing four options. It's about your future. And if you like uh, stay true to yourself and read good books, you will always be able to, you know, come out on the other side with a good Even result. All the standard textbook very, very thoroughly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Definitely. And how does like uh, T and D help you in uh, managing your goal? Any hmm. special faculties that you want? To yes, sir. Okay. Training? So uh, the thing about sir T and D, it's about consolidation and crisp revision. That is what T and D gives to you because see, in the vast uh, sea of knowledge that is out there in standard textbooks, other books, you know, you want something that you are able to revise just before the exam. Because you can't revise a standard textbook before the exam, right? So for that, you need to, uh, you know, attend test and discussions. And plus, it also helps you, you know, strategize that, okay, fine. If this is how I rule out, rule in options. These things you can't get by reading books. These things you can only learn by giving tests, attending TNDs, where, you know, the fac faculty will tell you, okay, fine. This is how you rule out option A. This is how you rule out option B. So, sir, uh, there are some people that I would like to point out. So firstly, uh, Dr. Ashwini Kumar, sir, he is an absolute genius when it's when it comes to anatomy. Uh, sir, I have watched his videos on his app as well. 
sir, he is a great teacher and I attended his uh, test and discussion also. Sir, it was really helpful because I personally found anatomy to be very tough because the books are not nice. B.D. Chorasya, it's not a nice book and Gray's Anatomy, it has very less information, right? So, you need someone who would, you know, tell you what is important in anatomy, right? Because it's a very, very vast subject. And sir, because a lot of, you know, questions I got correct in the exam were, <clears throat> you know, concepts that I had learned from sir himself. So, then I would also like to uh, thank uh, Dr. Praveen, uh, the pathology faculty. Sir, I have uh, been an active member on his Facebook group also since I was in second year. I have been following almost every update that he has and every MCQ that he has posted and I have added them to, you know, to various places in Robbins or in my notes that I have uh, made from sources. So, he is, you know, so he is a very nice uh, faculty and also there is uh, his video on blood banking on YouTube. I think everyone should watch that because blood banking has gained a certain importance in the past two to three years yeah, where, a where a lot, you know, and Yes, sir. It's a great video. So, because the thing is that uh, blood banking is not taught anywhere, not in MBBS, not in internship. So the only time interns go to blood bank is to collect blood. <laughs> that is all you do, right? So, you need someone to tell you, okay, fine, this is what is going at the blood bank. It is a 50 minute video and it's a great watch. I learned a lot from it. Okay, sir. Then I would also like to uh, point out the orthopedic faculty, Dr. Uh, Sushil Vijay. Sir, uh, I've attended his TND, very uh, good set of questions. I've also, sir, followed his uh, Facebook group and all. Uh, he, used, he posts questions regularly and then he posts the solu solutions also and then he posts some conceptual topics on uh, YouTube as well. So, I've been following him for the past uh, two, two and a half years and sir, it has helped me a lot and in this current times exam, there were many questions from orthopedics. I don't know why it was so. But such this time a minor subject has gained importance and it was because of, you know. He always come back with that subject. Yes, sir. Definitely, sir. And since I had a good base in orthopedics, I was able to mark many uh, questions correctly. So, okay, sir. Then I have been, sir, I have attended your TND as well in radiology. It has helped me because, sir, I find radiology very tough. Radi radiotherapy, I am unable to grasp much. But uh, thanks to you, I have gotten slightly better at at least marking MCQs, which is important at my stage. I am still, I still don't see much in x-rays, but. Basically, you know, that's not an undergraduate subject. <laughs> so, that's yeah. a problem. But the way that we discuss, we try that students should be able to answer it. Yes, sir. I was able to answer the questions in the exam. And I think for anyone who's appearing for the exam, what they need to realize is that at the end of the day, right now, you have only two priorities, right? One is to be a good clinician and other is to crack a PG seat. You don't do you're not doing PG in radiology. I have seen many people getting fascinated by many, many, many name signs in radiology. And, you know, people run after name things. And I feel that that is not how it should be. You should always focus on basics, basics and basics. You should focus on what is taught in your wards, what is uh, taught in your clinical postings. And you should be mindful in your internship approach. You should... Rather, this reminds me of a question that hmm. I get from the student a lot of time. Yes, sir. Is that there are different kind of colleges, medical colleges in India. Hmm. And there are a lot of medical colleges who got very, very hectic internship yes. like we have in Mahanagar. Yes, sir. College, definitely. Okay? Yes, sir. But there are a lot of medical colleges who do not have that, that hectic internship. Hmm. And there are a lot of students who are confused hmm. that uh, that what is better hmm. to have a very, very hectic internship hmm. and uh, or to bunk the internship and keep on reading. So, what is your take? On, sir, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> sir, I, I know that it is very torture. Uh, to I know, I agree. But what is your take on sir, that? Now okay. you have achieved the result. Okay, sir. So, I will quote the example of the same only. We had one question on intubation and I had learned intubation when I was posted in casualty. Had I not learned intubation, I would say there is no chance that I would have gotten that question correct. There was one question on how to do ABG. So, sir, we as interns do 20 to 30 ABGs every day. So, you automatically know the answer to that question, right? Because it is, you know, a, a daily bread and butter for you at the end of the day. And, sir, these things matter a lot. This aim, sir, it had... Everything pays you back. Sir, uh, at that time, I used to think, what's going on? I have to sleep at home, But, sir, in the end, I think it all comes back to you. Honest to your work, uh, just be honest to your life. Uh, and everything will pay you back. So, if your internship is hectic, it will give you something. Sir, it is, if your internship uh, is not hectic, then you can compensate it by reading more. Uh, and, that, and, and on that particular side, you can compensate. Yes, sir. So, 
why feel that do not blame your circumstances, do not blame your surroundings, hmm. rather take out best yes, from the circumstances and hmm. that is the hmm. key message that we are getting over here. Yes, sir. Um, so I was taking the interviews and um, I was taking the interviews with Rank 2. Yes, sir. He was not socially very active, he was not very much active on the Facebook. Like hmm. what about you? Like, <laughs> uh, what about you? Like, were you regular with the group? Oh, yes, the sir. Interview? So what is your take on that particular part? Sir, actually, see, it's a two-edged sword, right? Like you, when you when you open Facebook, sir, you might be sucked into you know watching other videos, other people's feeds, news, and you know posts. And the other, the good part is that you might get to know about new updates, new drugs that have come, the new pattern questions that are coming these days. Sir, I think it works. So the what my suggestion would be that just unfollow you know celebrities from Facebook. And I think for a last six months it is fair enough to unfollow people and just be active on groups that are you know academic. So I feel uh, uh, another way that I will put it forward is that I yeah. keep on saying it in my classes also in my videos also is that one size doesn't fit all. Hmm. And I was talking in the other interview also that try to listen and hmm. then try to incorporate the information that you think suits to your life. No two persons are same. Yes okay? sir. Everybody has a different personality. Yes, Everybody sir. has a different way to grasp the thing. Hmm. So try to try to see, try to listen to these talks and then hmm. try to think that this suits to you. Yes. This sir. suits to you. And then take that particular information and hmm. then use it to yes. the best of your knowledge. We hmm. are there to help you in all your all your dreams that that, that are there. As you can see that uh, the the students have followed different different approaches. And still, they are able to produce the result. Okay, so because at the end of the day, it depends on an individual student that how you utilize, how you utilize the opportunity that you have, your shortcomings that you have, and then how you have manipulated on that particular yes, part. Sir. Any special message that you yes, want? Sir, to I want to matlab, tell one message for the interns, yes, yes, sir, yes. because sir, what we think is now that when we have a 24-hour duty in medicine, so we think that okay, this is this day is a waste. I can't do anything. Matlab, that's the end of my day. Okay. But sir, what I want to tell you is that you can study and you can create windows and opportunities to study even when they don't exist if you just have the right amount of will. So sir, what the thing is that when you go, like if you have a 24 hour duty, so you will get time for lunch, you will get time for like suppose report collections and all. Na? So you say you should always keep stuff available in your phone that you can quickly browse or you know some important uh, uh, tables from Harrison, tables from Robbins that you can quickly just go through. Right, and sir, the other thing is that you should always look to create time. So the thing is that I travel daily from uh, my house to the uh, hospital daily, and it takes me one hour to travel. So, sir, I had two choices: I could sleep in my car, I could do anything in the metro. But sir, what I chose is that I used to look at videos of important topics, solutions of important uh, questions and answers, so that I do not waste those two hours in commu uh, commuting. So th that's the thing I want to. Uh, yeah, multiply your time. Haan, so you, you can create time. Do not, kill your haan, time. Like, do not waste time. important message that I used to get from my senior when I was hmm. preparing is that there is no harm in spending one hour with your girlfriend. <laughs> but uh, that do not kill time outside the library. Yes, sir. Okay, that do not just kill your time haan. in like unnecessary gossiping. Yes, sir. Uh, do uh, not. Going here yes, and sir. There, but, uh, Try to utilize, try to make a timetable. If you have to spend seven hours in the internship, Haan. then see that you have still 17 hours more. Yes, sir. Then try to take out the seven hours for your sleep. Yes, and sir. you still have 10 hours. Yes, and sir. And 10 hours, if you want, you can utilize in the best possible way. Yes, sir. So try to do those things, and I'm sure that you will be sitting with me next time and we'll be talking and we'll be riding our hmm. I Once again, congratulate you Thank for you, your sir. amazing success. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you.